and people keep commenting about uh, me wearing flip-flops while working on my car, I'm comfortable. All right, y'all, today we are going to be going over the jacking points for probably the 2014 to 2021 Mazda 6. Let's get to it. So if you're watching this, you're probably kind of new to cars or you're new to the Mazda 6 itself and you're trying to do something to get the wheels off of the ground. So today I'm going to try to do my best to be as thorough as possible to help you if you need to raise your car to change the oil. Uh, inspect or anything like that so don't let's not waste any time let's get right into it so first let's go over some of the basic stuff that you're going to need one is going to be a jack uh the car comes with a factory jack i don't trust those jacks i i just don't the scissor jacks on my 81 oldsmobile i had one to fold over on me and after that like I don't use the jacks that are supplied with the cars unless it is like the bottle jack. The bottle jacks I trust, the scissor jacks, not so much. A scissor jack, bad, bottle jack, better. I prefer a standard floor jack. So I have a Harbor Freight one and a half ton low uh, jack that I keep in my car. If you're gonna be under the car, like if you're gonna have any limbs under the car or if you have the wheels off of the, like off of the car and you're working on it, like you're doing the brakes, I highly recommend to get some jack stands. Uh, it's cool to use the jack and just the jack if you're doing something quick like changing a tire. But if the car is going to be off the ground for any amount of time, please use jack stands. Uh, order from Amazon, Harbor Freight, but not the recalled ones, uh, AutoZone, whatever. Uh, I do have Harbor Freight jack stands, and I believe these are. Duralast, so what is that? AutoZone or Advanced Auto, whatever. And then I have these pinch well savers, uh, so that way uh, you have uh, less of a chance of damaging your pinch wells on these unibody cars. So I'm going to show you how I do it. Uh, my car is on bags, so it sits even all the way aired up, it sits lower than the standard Mazda 6. Um, so the stuff I'm going to do for that. You don't have to pretty much worry about it because more than likely you probably have a stock car let's be honest uh but everything else is going to apply to you uh, as well uh first i'm going to go over the factory jack points and then i will go over how i jack my car up and my placement of my jack stands let's get right to it now the first thing I will say is that the Mazda factory jack points, there's only two. So let me see if I can slide up under there and physically show you the jack point. All right, so we are going, of course, under the car. So this will be your rear bumper. This will be your exhaust. I have a cork sport exhaust. Uh, this is going to be your rear subframe. So you're gonna go past the rear subframe and be offset to the driver's side and this right here is going to be your factory jack point. So your jack has to go all the way under the car, past the exhaust, past the rear subframe to right there to access the factory jack point. Now mind you, about six inches towards the front of the car is gonna be your gas tank. So you wanna make sure you don't jack up at your gas tank. You wanna make sure that you hit the jack point itself so your factory jet point is that's probably what four feet in so got a long ways to go try to do the same way we did the rear so this is going to be your front bumper that's going to be your oil pan so you definitely want to make sure you don't jack up here on this plastic undercover and then right when the undercover stops you have a piece of metal with those dimples and those dimples is going to be the factory front jack point so if you use this jack point you want to make sure that you are on that jack point and that you are not on the transmission mount that is right there uh, you don't want to be on the oil pan or the oil filter that's right there you don't want to be on the oil pan that's going to be right here so you want to make sure that you go all the way past 
all the plastic back here to where you see those dimples and that's going to be your factory front jack point now i'm going to show you how i jack up my 2014 mod 6. and before we get too much further into this video let's go over a couple of safety things uh the first safety thing is going to be if you are jacking your car up make sure that your car is on a pretty even and level ground just to keep things from shifting let's say to the extreme you're on a 45 degree angle and if you jack the car up and the weight shifts it could come off of whatever jack uh especially if it's a scissor jack i absolutely hate those um but even like a regular jack with wheels on it the weight could shift and a scissor jack could fold a bottle jack it could slide off of it a regular jack that has wheels it could be getting rolled so make sure when you're doing this that you're on a pretty level and even ground before you get started like i am I'm in the garage so it's gonna be pretty level so make sure that you're in a safe environment in a safe spot in a level spot before you get started that way you don't damage the car and most importantly you don't hurt or kill yourself or others let's get back to it so when i jack my car up of course i use as i mentioned earlier Mother Harbor Freight aluminum one half ton rapid pump floor jack. And then I use this pinch wheel adapter for my floor jack, which goes on right there. Got it off Amazon. Uh, it has a magnet on it and these magnets stick very well. These scrapes come from me leaving it under my car, me leaving it under Orlando's car, and me also leaving it under Chauncey's car. This thing has went like probably 200 miles in his life, stuck on the pinch wheel via the magnets on three cars so it works it holds up i bought this like man maybe four or five years ago still working fine so what i do with this is that i will find the pinch wheel under the car and i will put it on there first before i put in my jack you may be wondering where do you put it what i do is that i find the door line on the mazda 6 and i put it right there in the middle that way when i jack the car up the whole side comes up. So I need to work up my car. I need to do the front axle. I need to swap out the Godspeed camber arms for the factory camber arms. So I need the entire car up right now. So I'm going to put uh, my pinch wheel adapter in the factory pinch wheel. I'm gonna see if I can show you. I should have showed you why I was up off the ground, but I'm gonna give you a realistic view and also because poor planning of how I do it real time. So on the ground, ooh. That paint looks good. So on the ground, uh, the pinch wheel is going to, oh, why is my ear lift? Oh, Jesus. I need to tuck that under there. That's the sensor for my, my ride height sensors for my ear ride. But the pinch wheel is right there. And you can see mine is mostly straight because I use my pinch wheel adapter. Now in my case, I have my air ride uh, wiring harness here. So I want to make sure I don't get that caught up in the pinch wheel because this adapter is pretty expensive so i'm gonna move that out of the way for now so i'm gonna put the pinch wheel adapter on there and there it is so now i'm gonna get my jack and boom we'll do it so like i said i try to make sure i found out for this car that it works very well when it is lined up pretty much with the door now um right now i what i'm fighting with is getting it under the plastic piece so that the magnet actually sticks to the pinch wheel there we go so like i said door body line jack adapter so let's get it jacked up and people keep commenting about uh, me wearing flip-flops while working on my car i'm comfortable and you work much better when you are comfortable. All right. So always make sure that I am actually lifting on the pitch wheel adapter. I will get it started to make sure that everything is lined up how it should be. And then from there, we're going to jack it up and you're going to see both wheels on the driver's side come off the ground.
It's like a two for one special. Buy one, get one free. Then of course you want to put it at the height, which is appropriate. In this case, I'm going to, I'm going to get it up high enough to where I can get both of my jack stands under the car. Now, if you are changing a tire, you know, you don't need to get it up that high, of course, but normally when I change the tire, I'm trying to get it up just high enough to where the tire's off the ground. That way I don't have to struggle to get it off. And also I have minimum liftage I have to do to get it back on. So as you can see, both wheels are off the ground, about very similar heights. Even though this is not a full frame car, it still lifts it off the ground. Right now it's about a, maybe about two fists, something like that. Boom, boom. And as you can see, same for the front, about two fists. Boom, boom. So next, we're gonna talk about the jack stands. So as you can see right now, the car is not quite high enough for the jack stand. So let's jack it up a little bit more. Depending on what you're doing to the car, will depend on where you need to place your jack. Uh, sorry about being sideways, but you can see the pinch well there. Uh, I want my jack and my adapter to line up just like that on the pinch well. So that should be good to go. But as I let it down, I will check it to make sure that it falls right into the gap designated for the pinch well. I'm going to place the real one. Let's lower it down. Again, sorry about the sideward angle. But like I said, we're going to lower it down slowly and ensure that the pinch well is going to fall right in that gap and as you can see it is lining up perfectly uh the rear the rear is lining up good as well get a little bit of adjustment oh a little too fast and now front and rear are now supported by the jack stands the jack is no longer connected and everything is sitting perfect into the pinch well protectors that are on the jack stands so that is how i do it so i will have a link in the description for the jack pinch well adapter and for the jack stand pinch wheel adapter protector thingamabobbas and they do come in a pack of four when i bought them they were like 11 12 dollars and i will have a link in the description below and what i always do before i get under any car is the shake test to make sure that it is not going to fall over on me so once you get it up there just give it a good shake to make sure that it is dirty and that it is not going to fall or go anywhere so, like I said, if you're changing the oil, anything like that, this is what uh, you need to do to make sure that you are safe, you are not injured, killed, and that your car is going to be uh, not damaged in the process as well. So, if you have any questions, just let me know. Again, I will have links in the description below for everything that I use today. Uh, if I find some decent jack stands or decent jack, I will have those in the description as well. If none of the links work, just let me know how I try to find the same product or an equivalent product as well. Whew, I did way more work than what I thought I was going to do with this video. So, like everything that you do, always remember, think it, build it, enjoy it. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, peace.